One of the Navy's primary goals in recent years has been both the advancement of alternative energy and helping the Navy itself to become more environmentally friendly. Energy reform is about the lives of our troops. In 2009, Secretary of the Navy Ray Mabus set several environmental goals for the Navy, including reducing petroleum use of the fleet by 50% by 2015. We're making a lot of progress toward meeting those goals, and I'm absolutely confident that we're going to meet all those goals, and we're setting up some benchmarks along the way, because if you're going to do that in 10 years, you've got to do things the first year, the second year, and I think we're making a lot of progress. The Green Hornet, which officially took flight April 26, 2010, is an F-A-18 Super Hornet powered by a 50-50 biofuel blend. The Navy has also tested an MH-60S Seahawk and a Riverine Command Boat using the same blend of fuel. We use a lot of energy. We can be better warfighters if we change the way we produce and the way we use energy. And I think that if the military does it, the rest of the country can follow. We can provide a market. We can provide a test facility for a lot of these, a lot of these new technologies. And I'm absolutely confident, just like the Navy moved from sail to coal in the 1850s, from coal to oil in the early part of the 20th century, and then to nuclear in the 1950s. Every time people said we couldn't do it, every time we led this country in ways of producing energy and using energy, and we're gonna do it again. Whatever the future holds, one can be sure that the Navy will be there to continue to investigate and research new ways for our ships to coexist with the oceans they sail on.